you know, I hate to say this, y'all, and normally I wouldn't go live about this shit because you guys all know me better than that. You guys know I don't do dumb shit. I don't give in to bullshit like this. But, uh, you know, this motherfucker, wrecked her and setting her running in his mouth like a little bitch. Saying he's going to fucking bury me. Nigga, I've had motherfuckers try to bury me before. And guess what? It ain't happened, dude. So you can go ahead and try to run your mouth all you want, wrecked hers. But what your boy Blythe did is fucked up, dude. What he did is beyond fucked up. And besides that, dude, like I told you, man, you don't know how your boy Arachnid is when no one's around. You're not around in 24-7. You don't see his fucking phone screen, dog. And for you to put one of my homies out on blast like that, like, dude, what the fuck's wrong with you? Like, bro. Like, think about it, man. The legal age in Canada for consent of dating is 17. Do your research, man. Tess didn't do anything wrong. Your boy Blythe did when he fucking did what he did and broke her fucking heart and left her for no fucking reason. And then for you to fucking put her on blast like that, dude? Like, are you fucking kidding me? And like I said, dude, you want to fucking bury me? Go ahead and try it. I've had motherfuckers way worse than you try to bury me before, and guess what? It ain't work. So try all you want, little fucking bitch. Because guess what? Me being buried ain't ever going to happen. Because you know why? I ain't got nothing to lose, which makes me a lot more dangerous than you, buddy. A lot more dangerous. You might think that just because you're established, you're an established artist. Who gives a fuck? I don't give a fuck whether you're a, You can be the biggest fucking rock star in the world and I wouldn't care, dude. I give zero fucks about whether you're an established artist or not. But when you go and put one of my best friends on blast like that for no fucking reason when they didn't do anything wrong, that's fucked up, dude. That is really fucked up and low. Even for you, that's fucked up. Like I told you, I apologize for the shit that I did to you, man. I apologize for that. And if this has something to do with that, dog, I apologize, homie. But when you try to sit there and say that if I continue on this path that you're going to bury me, bitch, I'm right here. Where's the fucking shovel? Guarantee you I'll grab that bitch and I'll fucking bury your ass first, little faggot. Guarantee fucking to you. Ask anyone here that knows me. Anyone. I will personally put you in your fucking grave. And if you don't think I can do it, try me. I have put motherfuckers in graves before who have gone up against me. Because guess what, dog? I got nothing to lose. Your boy Blythe is a little fucking pussy-ass coward. And to be honest, man, so are you. Sitting there running your mouth saying you're going to bury me? Go ahead and try it. People have tried before and every single one of them has failed. And you're going to be no different than them. You will fail in burying me. So like I said, go ahead and try it. Because anything you've got to say against me, it don't faze me, dude. Whatever you say, whatever you fucking want against me. Put a diss track out on me. Do whatever the fuck you want. I don't give two fucks, dog. Yeah, it's true. You may have been in the game longer than I have. And I get that. That may be true. You may have been in the game a lot longer than I have been. And I respect you for that. Congrats to you. But when you sit there and you put one of my best friends, who happens to be one of my biggest fans, on blast like that, who has been one of my biggest supporters since day one, on blast like that, for no fucking reason, when your boy Blythe the one that did shit, your boy fucking Arachnid or King Arachnid or whatever the fuck his name is. The minute he decided to fuck her over and leave her without even giving her an explanation. Like, dude, that's where you, that's where he fucked up. So, dude, I'm not trying to go against you. I'm not trying to start shit with you. 
But the minute that you fucking said that if I continue on that path that you would bury me, that's when you took, that's when you made it fucking personal, homie. So I tell you this right now, dog. Come and get some if you want some. Because guess what? You're going to end up in the fucking graveyard with the rest of the motherfuckers that tried to bury me. I got fucking bodies for fucking days buried that, of motherfuckers that tried to fucking take me. Every single motherfucker that I've come across that has tried to end me, tried to end my career, tried to take my career away from me, tried to put me in the ground, every single one of them failed. You know why? Because I buried their asses. I got past them and I fucking buried them. And you're not going to be any different than those little fucking bitches who tried. Do you not realize who you're fucking with, dude? When it comes to the underground, dude, me and Eric rule that shit. Me and Scrubble rule that shit. We have armies who follow our shit. Just because you don't hear about us don't mean shit. Yeah, you might not have heard about us, but dude, open your fucking ears, homie. Maybe if you fucking open your goddamn ear holes and shut your fucking mouth for five seconds, maybe you will have heard of us. Maybe you would have heard some of our shit. Like I said, I don't give a fuck how long you've been in the fucking music game for. I don't care. What I do care about, though, is when you go and put one of my best friends on blast. And then to sit there and say that if I continue on that path, you're going to bury me? I say this, dog. Bring it. Bring what you got. Because I guarantee you that's nothing. That is what you can do to me is nothing compared to the fucking shit that I will put you through. You want to try to bury me lyrically? Boy, I will do more than bury you. I will fucking bury you, rip out your heart, rip out your fucking soul, and send you to fucking hell where you belong. Once and for all, little bitch. So go ahead. Bring your best shot, Rectors. I'm not afraid. I'm right here. And I will personally end you. So bring it on, little faggot. I'm right here. Come get some. Take your best shot. Because guess what? This path I'm continuing on, I'm rolling right through your ass. And I'm going straight to the top, motherfucker. So go ahead and try it. I dare you to try it. I, I want you to try to bury me. I dare you to try to do it, little bitch. I fucking dare you, wrecked hers. Try to bury me. I dare you. Because I guarantee you, it won't end well for you at all. Do you not realize that I've gone up against some of the best in the underground and fucking ended their career because they wanted to be a fucking smart mouth and run their mouth and try to start shit and say that I'm shit when really they're the ones that are shit? I've ended fucking careers, dude. Just because I'm not that well known don't mean I ain't got no fucking pull. You know, you name one person in the underground that you know that can go up against me, and I guarantee you I'll fucking bury him just like I'm going to do you. So like I said, you say you're going to bury me if I continue on this path? I say try it. It ain't going to do no bit of, it ain't gonna do you any bit of good except get your ass buried. The only person that's going to get buried around here is your sorry ass. You say you're better than me, dog. Go ahead. I'm right here. Bring it, dude. I ain't afraid of you or anyone who wants to try to bury me. Because here's the thing. Here's the difference between me and you, Rackhurst. You sit there, you say that you've made it in the industry and show like that. Well, here's the thing, dude. What you don't realize is you've got a lot to lose. Me, on the other hand, I'm a lot more dangerous because I have nothing to lose. I have nothing to lose. So I can go all out and I can fucking end your ass. Which makes me a lot more dangerous than you fucking realize, kid. So go ahead and try to fucking bury me, dog. I ain't afraid. I'm right here. So honestly, dude, unless you want your fucking career ended and you and your boy King Arachnid, which I'm pretty sure is your fuck buddy on the side, I suggest you shut your fucking mouth. And leave me and my friends the fuck alone. Because otherwise, your career is done, dude. You say you can bury me. Like I said, you're just going to end up like every other motherfucker that I've rolled over in the past. Ask anyone here that knows me 
who has heard my music and heard what I can do. I can and will end you. They call me the Demon King for a reason, dude. I earned that nickname for a fucking reason. Because I've ripped out people's careers from underneath them. And I have fucking buried them. And I have sent them to hell. And I have no problem doing that with you. At all. So like I said. You want to go face to face with the Demon King? Go ahead. It'll be the end of you and your career. And your little shitty label. So like I said. Go ahead and try to bury me, a little faggot. I'm right here. You ain't gonna do shit because you're a scared little fucking coward that just wants to run his fucking mouth. And this is also a fair warning to anybody out there who wants to try to end my career, who even thinks they're gonna get the notion to try to put an end to me, don't. Because it will not end well for you. And like I said, I don't want to beef with nobody. I really don't. I hate ending careers. I hate doing it. Especially when someone like you, wreck, when someone as talented as you comes along. Like, dude, just because you got talent don't mean shit. That don't mean shit to me. You can have all the talent in the world. But if you got a shitty fucking attitude and you got a shitty personality, dude, you don't fucking belong in the music industry with that shitty ass attitude. You need to check yourself and you need to check your fucking boy. So don't even fucking try it with me, son. Yeah, you may have been in the game longer, but that don't mean a goddamn thing to me. So like I said, you want to face the Demon King and try to sway me down? Go ahead. I'm right here. I'm waiting. I want you to try it. Because like I said, they call me the Demon King for a reason, boy. Because I will fucking rip you into your worst fucking nightmares. Eat your fucking soul and fucking bury you lyrically. So you want to come against me? Go ahead. Because guess what? Compared to you, I'm a demigod, bitch. You ain't nothing but a little fucking wannabe. If y'all don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about this little fucking faggot, Wrecked Hurst. This dude thinks that he can go off and fucking run his mouth about one of my best friends and put them on blast and then sit there and tell me that if I continue down this path that he's going to fucking bury me. This dude thinks that he can fucking bury me. Just because he's been in the game longer don't mean shit. You need to fucking watch your mouth, dog. And honestly, you need to check your fucking attitude. Because you're going to run your mouth to someone like me one of these days and it probably is going to be me that puts an end to you. But you're going to run your mouth to somebody like me. And they're going to fucking knock the shit out you. They will knock the shit out you either lyrically or physically. Which honestly, I'm hoping for both. So, you won't want to put an end to your ass lyrically? Then I'll do it. I have no problem putting an end to you. Like I said, dude, you want to get fucking personal? Go ahead. You want to run your mouth about me, Rectors? You want to make shit personal? Well, guess what? It's on. Because you ain't putting an end to me. You ain't going to bury me. Go ahead and try it. It ain't going to do you no bit of good, son. Whatever you got to say against me, it ain't going to phase me, homie. I'm above you, dude. Unlike you, I don't fucking battle. I put music out to help people. Unlike you, I don't want no beef with nobody, which is all which is what you feed off of. You feed off the bullshit, and guess what? Guess what, dude? You ain't about to fucking you ain't about to fucking put an end to me. It ain't happening because guess what? I will personally end you. Exactly, man. 
My boy Garrett right here can tell you the same fucking thing. This dude's seen my shit. He knows I can bury motherfuckers. So like he said, dude, you fuck with me, you fuck with all of us. You fuck with one person in the alien nation, you fuck with every fucking body. Just like with me, dog. You fuck with me, you fuck with everybody on Bloodshot Records, you fuck with everybody on motherfucking Killer Clown Sounds, you fuck with everybody on fucking Last Life, dude. And you fuck with those that I know. So, like I said, dude, your ass is done. You want to try to bury me? I say welcome to hell, bitch. Because I am your worst fucking nightmare. <laughs>